Corn Fleet Commandos. Then look outside here and see what's happening. Hey, come on over here, boy. This this lady has just moved into the neighborhood. I've never seen a lady quite like this. Oh, boy. And she is something else. Give it up, Grandpa. I'll never give it up. <laughs> yeah, don't you ever get tired of the same old bit day after day? Come on. It would behoove you get your huge body over here. Well, you can wave to her for us, Grandpa. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Hi, honey. <laughs> Listen, I'll... I'll be home. They're gonna go out, all of them. I'll be home from 1 to 8 p.m., <laughs> okay? All right, honey. I'll come out for a little while. Uh, I, I think she should see my new set of power tools. <laughs> Was gonna be here by breakfast. Well, that's what Aunt Gwen told me. About three o'clock in the morning, she called me from the cabin of an L-1011. Listen, you know I love that sister of yours. Gwen's a great gal, but she's she's a complete flake. <laughs> Maybe your plane was too late. They have severe weather between here and Florida. You know, there's always that low pressure system coming in from Canada. Yeah. Well, maybe she convinced the pilot to take her somewhere else. You know how convincing Aunt Gwen can be. God, it's gonna be great to see her, huh? I remember when Aunt Gwen used to live here before you squirts were born. She left me at the counter once at the bowling alley as a deposit for her shoes. Yeah, yeah she learned that from me. I used to do the same thing to her when she was little. Do I remember Aunt Gwen? Ah, uh, sure you do, yeah. The last time she was here, you were potty training, and she uh, put those little targets in the toilet. Ben, you've come a long way. Those target things are gonna pay off one of these days. <laughs> Why do you stare at me like that? Daddy? Gwen? Yeah. Holy cow. Gwen. Oh, dear. Oh. Look at you. Oh. oh. Mm -hmm. Dad, look mm -hmm. at you. You look so mm -hmm. cute. <laughs> I can't oh. believe it's you. It's me, Dad. Just yesterday, your head was a mass of curls, and you were wandering around doing this, and <laughs> carrying your little doll. That's right. Her head's gone now. Oh, you're kidding. Yeah, I kept it's it. so sad. I pasted it together in many. The boys have destroyed it. Um, oh, Dad, here's somebody I want you to meet. That's what are his intentions? Really? Well, Dad, how... I hope they're good. This is Julio, my fiancé. Como esta? How you doing? Salud y amor y pasé de tiempo para gastarlo. Comprende? Oh, yes. Con Ana se leo Lorraine. Con mi carro, el casa. Güey, dormamos de la marín. Well, it didn't frighten him. Uh... Listen, I just want to get paid and yeah, get back sure. in my cab. Oh, is he? Wait a minute. He drove me, Dad. He drove me from the airport. It's a cab driver. Just kidding. Perdón, you. perdón. There you go, Julio. Hey, Thanks bye -bye. a lot. Adios. You so, want... listen, where is everybody? Where's Dwight? I want to run down and see him. If he's not here, I'll go down to the school. Is this all you brought? Yeah, that's it, Dad. You're going to stay with us a little while, aren't you? Well, yeah. Maybe a couple of weeks. A couple of weeks, God, maybe, Dad. So we'll see how it goes. Good to see, good to see you. you. <laughs> so happy you didn't bring your mother. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, listen. Oh, hey, listen. listen come on. Come on. 
Sure, we'll get down and see Dwight. Uh, that's uh, that's in, in due time. You want a sandwich? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. I'll make you a sandwich. Now, the kids have eaten most of the, even the trays. Um, <laughs> no, there's very little left. There's a half a jar of peanut butter. You still like the whole eggs? Yeah. Not sliced? Right. In the sandwich? Yeah. Then you want me to slice the beets mm -hmm. and line them up on the side so when you hit one, they all fall down like dominoes. That's the way you like it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I know it sounds horrible, but I should have married you. <laughs> May I help you? Yeah, I hope so. I'm looking for Dwight Davis. I have a warrant for his arrest. Arrest? Uh huh. Our Dwight? That's what I said. Oh my God, a scandal. Could we see some ID? All right, honey. Now you've done it. What's your name? Oh, I I, I was just asking uh -huh. because our police always supposed to show their badges. Yeah, well I'm Vice. Okay, we don't carry ID. Too dangerous. Oh my God. What exactly is Mr. Davis under arrest for? Securities fraud, mail fraud, armed robbery from 1972 to 1976. He posed as a teacher in the state of Illinois under the alias Zeke Fenneman. I'm afraid I'm going to have to see that warrant. Do you want to see the warrant? I want to see you the warrant. Show I'm the warrant. I would, but I'm kidding. <laughs> You because you have sarcasm. Oh. In Japan, we don't have sarcasm. Mm -mm. Have what? Oh. Sarcasm. <laughs> okay. So who are you? Honestly, I'm Dwight's sister, Gwen. Dwight doesn't have a sister. She's pretty weird. She could be Gani's daughter. <laughs> Dwight. I thought we made believers out of these people in Okinawa. <laughs> she is Gani's daughter. Hello. Hi. <laughs> What's the matter, Dwight? Don't you recognize your own sister? I don't have a sister. No? Hmm. Well, maybe Zeke Fenneman has a sister. <laughs> You've got a big mouth, Charlotte. Oh, my God. A mouth that needs to be shut. <laughs> oh, 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 this is neat. Yeah. Yeah, I met all your friends here. <laughs> you okay, Carol? You're just so big and dumb sometimes. <laughs> Okay, I love you. That's enough. Give me a break. All right. Oh, there we go. Solar catastrophe. I just wiped out the entire universe. <laughs> oh, well, naughty, naughty. You're still the arcade queen, Aunt Gwen. Well, what do you think I did for four years in college? <laughs> you know, you could be an arcade king if you wanted to, because in Florida, they have tons of video arcades. Okay, is there someone on me, or should I see a doctor? <laughs> There you go, hon. Florida sounds cool. Doesn't it sound cool? But, you know, I don't know if you guys would like it. They have big, warm beaches there, you know, a bunch of girls. Everybody's hanging out all the time. I don't know. Ring, ring, I'll get it. Hello. Uh-huh, you want three guys to come down to Florida and have a really good time? Well, I'll see what I can do. Look it, they're looking for people. What are you going to say? You know, Florida, you see this bird right here? It would be alive. You're going like this. Unbelievable. Kind of hard to imagine with this particular one, but... It's one of those things. And you know what the great thing about Florida is? They've got alligators. Real, live alligators. But they're friendly. Yeah, they're friendly. <laughs> they follow you around, you can ride them to school, just like a skateboard, only they can kill you a lot quicker. <laughs> Man, if you guys ever go visit, I'm coming with you. Hey, forget visit. I want you guys to move there and live with me. You mean live in Florida? Yep. Man. My parents aren't gonna let me just move. Well, they'd let you come visit, wouldn't they? You can ask them. Well, go ahead, call right now. Living in Florida, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. Dad would come too, right? Yeah, Dad would come and Grandpa and... I really mean this, guys. I want us all together. I got a real big house, let you drive the boat. Don't forget, I sell boats. Big boats, small boats, let you hose down the boats. 
Maybe even drive a launch, and by the time you're 16, you'll have enough money to buy a car. My dad says I can go. <laughs> and uh, my mom says I can't. I won't know anything until tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. So, Cosmo, tell me, when are you gonna marry my big brother? Oh, probably sometime during our wedding. <laughs> I like this girl. Of course, she is tiny. I don't know if she can handle a Davis baby. Boom! You know. <laughs> you know, Gwen, I was thinking maybe I'd come see you in Florida sometime. You know, maybe shoot over to the Bahamas? You really want to come see me, Mike? Oh, an old flame never dies. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, she had the major highs for Mike. Yeah, I did. Remember that, Mike Cosmo? Can you believe I used to have the biggest crush on this guy right here? <laughs> Not really, no. <laughs> well, neither do I, to tell you the truth. I mean, you know, look at him. <laughs> now you quit picking on Mike, now. Why, Mike was the coolest. Mike, Mike was the man. You talk about a town without pity. So what do you say, Gwen? I could spend a weekend. Yeah, there you go, a reunion in the sun, huh, sis? Mike, can I ask you something? Sure. Have you given any thought to, I don't know, maybe settling down, getting a nice house, having a couple kids? <laughs> well, I'm not looking to get married. Oh, well, then shut up. <laughs> I hear your business is doing real well. Oh, yeah. You know, I started out real small, but now I'm rolling in it. <laughs> right, guys? <laughs> you know, I was on a boat about, oh, a year and a half ago, and there was a lady on that boat. Ooh. Wow, what a lady. Just hair flowing back this way. Huge blue Charlie, eyes. Big as billiard balls. Out. Oh, come on, Dad. No, out. I'll get Grandpa to tell us tomorrow. You won't remember it tomorrow. <laughs> Go ahead, Dad. What's I will remember out? it tomorrow. All right, I will. Remember I will. it now, will you? The woman on the boat, the long flowing hair. Well, I had a fancy for her, as it were. Mm -hmm. And we were sitting on a broken deck chair, going nowhere except in tight circles looking for tuna. <laughs> and uh, I started to make a move. No, no, no. Many of them do that, as you know. <laughs> so I took her and forced her head through the porthole. <laughs> and of course, everybody got to kiss her after that. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. I missed the boat story. <laughs> oh, well, it was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> so, Gwen, are you, are you here on business, or is this a family visit? Well, actually, it's both. I plan on taking my family back to Florida with me and making Dwight my partner. Huh? I say I plan on taking my family back to Florida with me and making Dwight my partner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, we're just all gonna up move to Florida. <laughs> well, wouldn't it be great? Oh, yeah, yeah, it'd be great, yeah. Cosmo, you wanna, you wanna go to Florida? Yeah, I love Florida, yeah. I mean, I'm a blonde, but I can tan, boom. <laughs> I bet. Mike, you wanna go to Florida with all us, right, huh? All right, let's yeah. do it, where the boys are. Yeah, <laughs> let's just all go, move to Florida. <laughs> well, you mean it? I hope so, because I'm serious, I bought a house. You bought a house? Mm-hmm, big one, six bedrooms. You're not kidding? Nope. Oh, where is the house? It's, uh, where would you want the house to be, Dad? Well, in the water? <laughs> I mean, well, it's on the water, Dad. It's very close to the water. You know what they say about Florida? What? <laughs> it's God's waiting room. You know, if we moved to Florida, I'd have to be the new kid in school. I'd have to come up with a whole new personality. Because let's face it, what works here isn't going to work there. I heard girls wear bathing suits there all year round, by law. Yeah? I heard that too. But so what? I'm not going to know any of them. Yeah, but you still get to look. I guess so. But what if when I get there, everybody already has all the friends they need? They say the tropics are lonely at night. You know, Rigo, all this has to happen just when I've got things starting to go my way. I'm the equipment manager of the baseball team. I can't just walk away from that. You'll be hard to replace. Not many guys can carry the bats and all the wet towels. You know, Rigo, you're really a pal. There's not gonna be anyone like you in Florida. Probably not. 
for life, man. I hope you're right about that swimsuit law. <laughs> Yes. Do you think I'm fat? Yes. Yeah. Do you think I'm fat? No, you're not fat. Thank you, Dwight. <laughs> Listen, Dwight. Come to Florida with me, would you? Come on, come to the sunshine. Come to the state of the giant citrus. Gwen, what? do you really expect us to just pick up and go to Florida? Well, how can you not want to? Come on, Dwight, think of it. You could be your own boss, make your own hours. Can't beat that. Gwen, I can't sell yachts. Are you kidding? You could sell anything. You're the most honest face in the world. No. Yeah, you do. Hello. Come right on. Step aboard. What's your name, Bill? Can I call you Billy? <laughs> <laughs> Billy, would you like to buy a nice big floating object that's going to cost you more than you'll ever make in your life? <laughs> Dwight. Listen, I know it's, it's tough to just pack up and move, but, uh, mm. you know, I miss you, Dwight. You're my best friend. Oh, Gwen. I miss you, too. I do. Well, then, come on. Come with me. I promise you'll love it. I'll oh, give you lots of things. I'll give you money. You'll be rich. I'll give you just all my money. Here, you can have it. Here, I'm giving it to you. That's what I would do if you came in. You'd give me money? Yes, I would. You'd give me money, Gwen? Why didn't you say so? Now, that's a different subject altogether. <laughs> well, I is. love money. You do? Yes. You know what I'd do if I had a lot of money? What? I'd move. <laughs> Somewhere quiet. Maybe the Pacific Northwest and get a little job teaching. Well, I just thought, you know, you've always been so great to me that maybe I could help you, you know, make your life better, easier somehow. Better? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> I'm doing exactly what I want to do. I'm getting paid next to nothing to do it. Doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> Come on, Gwen, don't you, don't you understand? Yeah, 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 I do. But uh, let me ask you something else, okay? Can I take Daddy? No. What do you mean, just no? No. Nope. I'm not going to keep him, just borrow him for a little while. You have him all the time. <clears throat> Gwen, you're not going to borrow Daddy, okay? I mean, he's not a cup of sugar. Well, yeah. The kids need him here. I mean, <clears throat> he taught Charlie to cook. I mean, what other kid can make a great stew out of roadkill? <laughs> all right. Go ahead, Gwen. Talk to him. Okay, listen, Dwight, can I talk to him alone? Yeah, sure, be my guest. But what are you gonna say to him that you can't say in front of me? I can get you women, Daddy. <laughs> Very funny. He doesn't need any women. He's got plenty of women right here. He doesn't need to go to Florida. And I can promise you, Gwen, he doesn't want to go to Florida, okay? <laughs> I can promise you. <gasps> See, look at him, you look great. You look like you belong in the front of a clam house menu. <laughs> Listen to him, Daddy. You look great. Come on. Yeah, I'm sorry, Dad. I, I didn't mean that. Yeah, I just never was a, a big Alan Hale fan. <laughs> Come on, sit down here. Sit down here. Yeah. Daddy, yeah. you'll love Florida. Look at you can go fishing every day. You yeah, know, I love to Dad, fish. I know you do. What about the cranberry festival? What about huh? the cranberry festival? What oh, about Dad? fishing? What about fishing? Well, we have fishing. We have nude fishing, a nude cranberry Wait, festival. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, are you going to be hold the hold grand hold marshal hold on, hold on. of the cranberry festival? Leave the berries festival. alone. What about, the, <laughs> what about the nude beach? What about Oh, there's the... a nude beach, too, Dad. Would I be allowed to just wander around looking for shells? Who's going to be the grand marshal? Well, I don't know. All right, are we moving or not? Dad? Well, listen, I... No. No, I knew that. I knew that. That's fine. I guess I'm going back by myself tomorrow. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sit down, sit down here, sit down here. You're not going anywhere, at least till tomorrow. Now, think about it. We could come down and see you maybe in the summer months, you know, for... I don't know, nine or ten days, whatever. No, Dad, Florida's disgusting no, wait, in the wait, summer. Wait, no, you don't want to be there. you come up and visit us at Christmas time. Well, how about if I come up here in the summer and you come down in Christmas, huh? Is that a deal? Deal. Oh, okay. uh, you promise? I promise. Every year? Yes. Huh? Come rain or come shine? Come rain or come uh, shine, right. absolutely. Okay, let me ask you something right right up front. All right. Let's be honest now. Okay. We've, we've had the, the, the games are over, okay, for, for, for a little while. <laughs> what about your mother? Where is she going to spend Christmas? That's important to me. Well, Dad, I, I think I think she'd be with us. Where? 
At the house. Where in the house? Well, I could put her in the closet that locks from the outside. That make you happy? Makes sense to me. <laughs> Lenny, you remember all the terrible things you used to do to me when we were little? Like what? I never did anything wrong. I was a perfect sister. You, my friend, were the demented one. Oh, come on. I yeah. was a great brother. You were not. You intimidated all my dates. You were obnoxious to my girlfriends and the famous charging a lousy buck to see me in the bathtub, you and your friends. Remember that? Yeah, very famous, yeah. They all wanted their money back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those were the days, huh? Yeah, they were. This rain, it reminds me of something that we used to do. Do you remember? No, I don't think so. You know what I'm thinking? No, about? I don't think I do. Oh, I think you no, do. No, I don't think it's a good idea. Oh, no, yes, I think it is. No, no, yeah, no, no. Come on, just no, for all time's no, no. sake, come on. Oh, it'll so. be fun. No, come on, Quinn. Come no, on. Come on. No, I won't be Come on, come, no. come on, come on. There you go. <laughs> Dan! Hey, 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 hey. What's going on? He did it. He did it. She did it. We did it. Well, make up your minds who did it. I'm the wet one, Dan. Look. Do you realize what time it is? Cut it out. Now, I guess you know only too well that if your mother was here, she'd lock you clowns outside. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna lock you out. But I'm not gonna lock you out of my heart.